Welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, from wherever you're listening to me all over the world. Thank you so much for joining us once again in this YouTube channel. Thank you so much. So here is a headline for today. A message from Babai Kitty. A message from Babai Kitty. We all know Babai Kitty. We all know he's one of those um, prominent Yoruba nation agitators. A very permanent Yoruba nation agitator and he has been doing good so far although some time ago like so i think some months ago he was arrested by you know same Yoruba nation agitators and he came out to talk about the issues that they are having among the Yoruba nation agitators he said that they've shifted from having problems with Fulani and the government and the others of the land and have shifted to having problems with themselves. Now, it's even the same Yoruba that are traitors to themselves. So he, he was really upset and came out to send a strong message to all Yorubas, Yorubas out there that they should beware. Especially this message is especially to the Yoruba nation leaders, those prominent Yoruba nation agitators that are out there. So before I give you everything I said, before I go into what I said, do not forget to like this video channel. And for those who have not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Click on the red button, subscribe to get more of this news. And also, do not forget to click on the notification button to get notified when I will bring you latest updates and gist about Nigeria and Yoruba Nation especially. Thank you so much even as you do so. So he asked the question at first instance, why are we fighting against ourselves now? Why? why we're supposed to team up together and fight against our enemies but no we are fighting against ourselves is it now that we are supposed to come together and make things work out that is when we now uh, we now know that this person like brother is doing something or like brother is doing something this thing is it the time to fight is it the time to cast blames is it the time to start thinking bad about your fellow person or oh, this is the time to join hands together and fight your enemies together he said now that we are supposed to join hands and fight our enemies that is when we have started fighting our own selves how are we going to make things work how are we going to 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 get this freedom we all desire for how are we going to get it when we are against ourselves this is a question that he asks all the Yorubas. And I, if you're, in, you're Yoruba on this platform, please, I want to hear your reaction to this. So, Baba Kintoye does not listen to Mount Onitiri again. You know, some, some weeks ago, we heard that there were some clashes um, among my Mama Onitiri, Baba Kintoye, and some those um prominent Yoruba national dictators. And they were fighting. It was alleged that they were fighting. We don't know if it's right or wrong, but it was alleged that they were fighting against themselves. Maybe it was a disagreement. So he said, this is not the time for us to start disagreeing against ourselves. If one person brings an idea and you don't like it, doesn't mean that you start fighting. Yes, we are not from the same family, although we are from the same, we are um, the same according to culture and tradition, but we are not the same from the same family. So we have different background upbringing. So we might clash in our own ideas, but that doesn't mean that we should begin to fight ourselves. But this is a time for us to reason, reason and begin to tolerate ourselves. He said the lives of innocent people that have been lost during the course of this fight for freedom are looking up to us. Those people that have died when when fighting for, for the urban nation to get out of this bondage. Those people, their blood is crying out of the ground for, for, um, this thing, for freedom. Crying out that, please... Don't let our death be in vain. Don't let our death be in vain. Don't let your sacrifice be in vain. Don't let the fact that they just died and died for nothing like chicken. No. Let it be worth their lives. Let it be worth their lives. So he said, without love, success will be impossible for the Yoruba nation. Without love, we cannot actualize what we've set down, with what we set down, our goals, our objective for the Yoruba nation. Without love, without love amongst us, we can never achieve it. He said, for those army boys, those ones that are, they will carry matter for me and go to Lake Eji, carry matter for me go to Lake Eta. Those ones. Now, is it a time for you to be gossiping? Is it a time for you to be backbiting about people? Is it a time for you to be causing problems, causing issues among people? No, this is not a time. This is not a time. 
what we're supposed to put action to will not put action to what we're supposed to keep quiet about that's what we'll now be shouting that is what is what your words are known for when it's time to shout when it's time to keep quiet that is when they'll start shouting this is not the time for you to start fighting yourselves no no those that have stood up for your nation have been discouraged they have been discouraged because okay well, they don't owe you they don't owe you anything they don't own your robots anything for example, Tristan Igbo, he doesn't owe Yorubas anything. Although he's a Yoruba man, he's from all your state, he can decide to travel. He has the money, he has, he has the fame, he has whatever it takes. He can decide to leave Nigeria and go abroad and forget that he's from Nigeria. He's a Yoruba guy. But no, he decided to stand up and fight for his people. He saw that they are being killed. It's that, that, it, that, uh, that, why would he be there and, and his fellow kinsmen are being killed? And now, he stood up, but some people are still there saying that eh, he goes because of money. That's why he's that's why he's doing Yoruba nation. You know, some people just don't have sense. And these people that are talking, they are still they are Yorubas, oh. they are not they are not um Igbos or outside. They are Yorubas and they are causing problem. Why? Why is it that we are so wicked against our own self? We, we just like to show wickedness against ourselves. We all fight about account. All those leaders, they fight about account. And how much money is coming into the account. Is that what we should be talking about now? Or how to leave this bondage? Nigeria has become hellfire for Yorubas. And yet, Yoruba leaders still fight against themselves. Why? So some people are saying that they are not ready. Yoruba, they are not ready for Mega Valley now. They are not ready for the declaration now. Wait, is it when they are finished killing Yoruba, that is when they will be ready for the rally, when there's nobody to fight again? Is it, is it when? For those saying that they are not ready, I don't know. I don't know how they think. I, mean, I don't know. But like said, the leaders should have should learn to organize and work together because they cannot lead the people out of bondage when they are not together when they don't work in love together when they don't cooperate together how will they not lead this millions of people out of nigeria how everyday fight everyday disagreement when we don't learn to tolerate ourselves if sunday boo was he came out one time and was like let us learn to tolerate ourselves this is not the time for us to be arguing and casting blames if we truly love Yoruba nation, if truly we are not here to extort money for those Yoruba nation agitators, if truly they are not here for the fame, then they must stop the fighting and begin to love themselves and stop planning against themselves. Stop, you know, God help Yoruba nation agitators. So, um, the like of Chisande Bo. He didn't join Yoruba nation for fame. No, he didn't join for fame or for money. If we go into his history very well, he has money. If you look at um the video of where the DSS came to meet him last year, it was his house. He has money, he has cars. So he's not in Yoruba nation for money or for fame or because he wants to get connection to um the government. No, it's because of his love for his people. It's patriotic. That is why. I don't know for those Yoruba nation that are hearing this now. If you are truly there, because you love your people, you love your fathers and your mothers, and you, you are, you're sick, you, your heart is breaking because you hear every day that your fathers and mothers and your, your children are being kidnapped and being killed every day, and your mothers cannot go to the farm, that, that, then, then you need to stand up and stop fighting against yourself. So this is the message that Baba Ikiti has passed to the urban nation and the teachers especially. And for those gossipers, so this message is for you. If you truly love yourself, stop gossiping. Stop crying matter up and down. Stop. Don't put your leg in one place and put your other leg in the other place. It doesn't make sense. So what's your reaction to what Baba Kitty has said to this message, this strong message? What's your reaction to this? Let me hear this in the comment section. Do not forget to like this video channel. For those who have not subscribed yet, please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for listening. God bless.